Hi everybody, Mikey G hier, Mike, und willkommen zurück zu The Dictionary of Things That Do Not Exist. Freunde, ein schönes Game. Ich hätte nicht gedacht, dass, ich, dass, es, dass es mir so gut gefallen würde, in dem Moment, wo ich es angeschaut habe, nach dem, was ich zuerst darüber gelesen habe. Aber mir gefällt es. Ein schönes kleines Projekt bisher. Ich bin gespannt, wie es weitergeht. Wir sind mit Mer wir, genau, äh, kurze Zusammenfassung. Wir sind Merv, ein kleiner Zauberer, der aus einer Dimension stammt, von einem Planeten, auf dem es nur Zauberer gibt. Es gibt allerdings nicht solche Alltagsdinge wie bei uns, wie Kunst, Musik, was auch immer, oder Spaß. Die, die studieren nur die Art der Magie und Alchemie und mehr gibt's da nicht. Irgendwann hat Ma Merv aber ein kleines Wörterbuch gefunden. Oder, ja, ein Lexikon vielmehr, in dem solche Dinge drinstehen. Das Lexikon von Dingen, die nicht existieren. Zumindest nicht in dieser Welt. Und er hat sich ein Portal gezaubert und ist jetzt hier. Und wie ihr da hinten schön sehen könnt, am Ende des Horizonts, die Yellow Brick Road zur Emerald City. There, a man dressed in green was staring at the horizon. He had probably noticed Murph, but he didn't bother to turn around and greet him. Our friend had to make a few steps more to reach his goal. Und das müssen wir selbst tun. Come closer. Don't be scared, young boy. I'm sorry you had to reach this place, but I needed to test you. And most of all, I have seen so many terrible things down there that I don't really feel like going back. This is not why I wanted you here, though. Can you spot that town down there among the mists? That town is supposed to be green. An old friend of mine has settled there and he's in charge of this place now. He imprisoned the old duke and enslaved his forals. You have already met the black winged monkeys. The black flying monkeys. Ah, das selbe. On your way here, I guess. He gave special powers to the monkeys so that they could be able to steal colors from things. He believes that during uh, that turning everything into white and gray will help his twisted plans of to control the world for his inhabitants without colors and happiness. Will be eager to work more and more. Who is he, you ask? He was once a little, frail kid, my brother. When my father and I left years ago to protect art from invaders overseas, he was too young to fight, but already grown up enough to take care of our mother. She died. He blamed himself and most of all me. He keeps doing so. And that's why his hatred is eager to shallow art whole. We are trying to fight back. But truth is, we are losing. There are too many monkeys. They have already breached through, the force, through our forces in these areas. And they are now marching toward my generals in the land of red. Yellow and Sion. Before striking the capital, we have to set we have to secure the nearby lands, or all of our efforts will be useless. By the time you climb you're climbing down the mountain, my generals should have come back from their patrols. Tell them I sent you, and that you can help them recovering what we've lost. They will understand, and they will aid you. And, hold on, I have something to give you as well. Take this. It's a flask that another wanderer gave me a long time ago. He said he came from a far away place, where the dead walk the earth. I didn't believe him at first, but after him, Many others arrived in art, including my generals. I realized that we can't be the only ones out there. 
back to the flask now. I sense magical powers in you. Drink it. And whilst that power will be drained, your wounds will recover. Once you have helped the others, you'll be ready to launch an offensive to the Grey City. I'll watch over you from here. Drink from the flask whenever you need it, and everything will be all right. Now go. They are waiting for you. I put my faith in you. Don't let us down. Combat. The Wanderer just gave you a potion. Press E to use it. It's got infinite charges and it will consume your MP in exchange of HP. Ah oh, cool, also. Mit dem Pfeiltasten, mit Q, Magie wechseln, mit E, Potion. Check. And down the road. Huh. How did he really manage to climb down without free falling? We'll never know. Still though, Murf was now back to the campfire and a handful of people had been watching him since he was in line of sight. The guy with the green coat called him. Uh, hi, freak! Not so friendly, huh? Uh, but... <laughs> not so friendly, huh? But Murph recalled the Wanderer's words and decided to listen to what he had to say. While he approached, he noted that the man was around his thirties. He wore a black strange cape and his right ear was surrounded by some really dirty bloodstained bandages. Hey, like what you see, little thing? started the man. But that's not my ear, we've got to talk about. Name's Vincent. And by the looks of you, you come from the Wanderer's Mountain. Aye, I saw you climbing down. I don't even want to know what you got, how you got up there. So he said. So he said you can help, huh? Unfortunately, you arrived a little late, you know. All of the surrounding lands are taken. Them friggin' monkeys have ransacked it all and are starting to suck colors out of everything like a cheap... Um, never mind. <laughs> they reaped my, my wheat fields, ransacked the farms in all of the yellow lands. They have burned down the red village and stole the sea and cube from the caves. What's worse, what's worse is that when when they steal any color, they become more powerful. While I was trying to defend what's mine, I noticed that the freaks had become yellow at May way faster. So by the Wanderer's orders, we came here and tried to decide what to do. If he wanted you to climb, looks like you are the better option. And no, looks like we're doomed. Anyway, if you feel like resting, light the bonfire. It will help you patch up or any injury. You'd better come back and rest every once in a while. Now go, the others are waiting for you. <laughs> das Bonfire. Moment. Okay, das irgendwie. Light the bonfire. Ah, schön. Ja, das ist natürlich das Bonfire aus Dark Souls. Super, ich finde es cool, dass wir ein bisschen mit Referenzen auf andere Spiele, auch wenn es keine Maker Games sind, ähm, ja, angespielt wird. Das finde ich cool, das gefällt mir richtig gut, Freunde, klasse. Ah, der Erzählstil gefällt mir soweit. Es ist leider ein bisschen undurchsichtig, wann ein Charakter spricht und wann der Erzähler spricht. Ich hoffe, ich mache das trotzdem gut genug für euch. Ja, schauen wir mal, wie es weitergeht. Reden wir mit den anderen beiden. Alon, Alons, Alons and Fonts. Oh, ist das Französisch? Uh, oh, uh, forgive my manners, stranger. I will introduce myself. Je m'appelle Marianne. Ja, ist Französisch. But there is no more time to chit chat, so that's all I'm going to say. We have to take back our village. They have raised our houses, killed our troops, 
all to get our scared relic, the red key, a sacred relic. The monkeys have turned red and become ve became very physically bigger, stronger. They started beating our troops and in the blink of an eye, the fight was over. They are now guarding the warehouse in which the key is stored. Be victorious. When my troops failed, mon ami, defeat the monkeys and get back the red key. It will be as useful as as the other artifacts, once in our hands. We'll be able to absorb their powers to breach into the walls and reach our enemy. Okay, jetzt wird über jede Region erzählt. Interessant. Oh, such an unexpected visit you are, Chico. <laughs> I heard you talked to Vincent. He's a good Chico too, but he tends to let emotions take control of him way too often. Why do you look sad? Oh, there are plenty of reasons to be sad, you know. The most important and urgent one is that I have been kicked out of my caves and... What? Why did I live in a cave? It's been drawn for me. Its rocks ca uh, catch the sounds and shape them. They take the feelings of my music and change it, making them more soothing to the sadness of my soul. But the monkeys have taken it. They stole all the light and the colors of what gave life to the cave, the cyan cube. It is the most sacred artifact in those lands and it needs to be retrieved. Do so, Chico and you will get its power. Monkeys of Stolzian have now turned blue. They used the very same magic that sprouted from the cube instead of their claws. They are me many and feeble, but they wield a great power. Be careful when they are far away, they will hit you with magic. Danke für die Information. After speaking to everyone, Murph decided to help them. He had to follow the road west of the bonfire and reach the yellow, cyan and red lands. Monkeys had turned to different colors depending on the ones they stole. Yellow monkeys were fast and deadly, red ones were slow but hit hard, blue ones had magic by their side. He had to hurry up and recover the artifacts, time was running out and the wanderer's brother was slowly conquering all of the land. Ja, interessant. Talk with the others. They will give you more information. As for me, just take back my mill and bring me the yellow wheat stock stored in there. It wields as much power as the other artifacts we need to retrieve. We will need it. Das ist wohl wahr. Speichern wir mal schnell. Das erste Mal. Schön. Und weiter geht's. Wirklich eine interessante kleine Geschichte, Freunde. World Map. On the World Map, places will be accessible by pressing the left mouse button next to them. Die Karte ist cool. Die gefällt mir, wie es gezeichnet ist. Enemies got the locations Murph has to go to. Okay, wir können aber trotzdem überall fast durchlaufen. Okay. Ah, aber sinnvolle, sinnvolle Walls gesetzt. Okay. Purple Cliffs, Orange Sea. Cool. Um, zack. Where once farmers worked non-stop to grind wheat, to make flour and bread out of it. Now monkeys ran in ecstasy. Scarecrows were their favorite companions. Vincent's mill was nearby. In front of Murph, a desolate wheat field reaped by angry monkeys led to Vincent's mill. The wheat stalked was inside. A kleines uh, maze, labyrinth. Ich bin schon voll auf Englisch wieder. How to reach it with all those monkeys and scarecrows? He had to fight. Yep. Genau das werden wir tun. Gucken wir nochmal, welche Zauber wir haben. Lightball. 
Zack. Ja, das geht ja eigentlich. Aber ich kann es nicht mehr durchwechseln. Ich glaube, ich habe auch nur noch eine, einen Angriff. Moment. Okay, warten wir auf die... Oh, ja, die sind wirklich schnell. Aber nicht so schnell wie ich im Maschen. Haha. Wie zum Kuckuck hast denn du mich jetzt gesehen? Oh, oh. Ah, alle drei. Okay, okay. Immer schön die 300-Taktik machen, Freunde. Gerade wenn sie sowas anbietet. Perfekt. Komm schon her. Ha. Wir treiben euch alle zurück. Okay. Wir brauchen da unten nicht lang, denn aus dem Bildschirm geht es nur aus dem Pfeile sind. Das ist gut. Komm her. Ha. Jedes Mal, wenn ich schlage, dann weicht Merv auch ein Stück nach vorne. Ah, zwei Stück. Aber schön in einer Reihe hinten anstellen. Sehr gut. Na, irgendwie klappt das mit dem Zauber noch nicht ganz. Das muss ich jetzt noch irgendwie rauskriegen. Irgendwie. Ich drücke eine falsche Taste, glaube ich. Moment. Ups. Ihr habt nichts gesehen. <lacht> falsche Taste. Weiter geht's. So, rein da. And there it was. Laying on the wooden floor of the ruined mill, the wheat stalk was spreading his golden aura all across the fields. Murph picked it up and ran back towards the yellow brick road. Part of his quest was done. Ah, sieht aus, als wären wir hier wirklich einem sehr kurzen Spiel. Aber ist ja nicht schlimm. Zack. Hey Kollege, ich hab was von dir. In the end, you've made it. Thanks for saving my meal, weirdo. Or should I say friend? Noch was? Ja, bla bla, das hatten wir schon. Cool. Wir speichern nochmal. Äh, komm schon. Jetzt habe ich nicht gespeichert, ne? Ja, habe ich nicht. So. Okay, und weiter. Hm, schöne Musik. Gefällt mir. Gefällt mir sehr gut. Ja, Freunde. Demnach denke ich, dass, es, dass wir nicht allzu viel äh, in diesem Game sehen werden. Schätze ich mal. Ja, okay, wir müssen hier richtig kämpfen. Äh, wie findet ihr das Game bis jetzt? Schreibt es in die Kommentare. Freut mich, davon zu hören. The smell of ashes and death would have invaded Merv's nostrils. If he had if he had any. He was approaching the Red Village, ransacked by the evil monkeys. Und was wir in dem roten Dorf erleben werden, das sehen wir das nächste Mal bei the Dictionary of Things That Do Not Exist. Bis dahin, rock your life, everybody. Cheerio.